It's an amazing story that Isaiah writes and begins like this. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on the throne. In the year that King Uzziah died, that's about 800 B.C. That's about 800 years before the name Yeshua, Jesus, was ever spoken here on earth. About 800 years before God put on skin and walked up a hill to die for you, to die for me. 800 years before he lifted a finger for me, for mankind, he was being worshipped in heaven. Uh, I may be making too much of that, but to me, well, that means that... <laughs> And my God is worthy of being worshipped, not just because of what he does for me, but because of who he is. Here I am, send me. Amazing grace, perfect love. Washing me in a crimson flood. Flowing down from my wounded king, this changes everything. <laughs> if I don't get to wrestle with my son ever again. If I never, ever again get to hold a biscuit from Chick-fil-A and drink a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> if my life from here on out is just horrible, the worst I can imagine, my God is still who He is. And He still deserves to be worshipped. So here I am. Seek me. And here I am. Change me, and here I am. Mend me, here I am. Send me. And Isaiah sees these really freaky looking creatures around the throne. I mean, they're not attractive at all. They really aren't. They've got eyes and wings where eyes and wings really just don't belong. <laughs> And with, with, with one set of wings, Isaiah says that they cover their eyes. Because even beings made with the stuff of heaven, uh, they're too frail to take in the glory of God. Glory, a word that I overuse. I forget what it means, but in Hebrew, oh, it, it's a big word. It's a word that means all. The full measure, the full weight, the glory. It's the word you'd use when you go to the market and you're going to buy all the flour you could possibly fit in a bag. and You want it so full they can't even close the thing. And you say, I want the glory. I want all. The glory of God was there with Isaiah. And even the angels covered their eyes. And with one set of wings, these angels covered their feet. Because even beings made with the stuff of heaven realize that they are too faulty to stand in the presence of a perfect God. He's without blemish. He is perfect. He is without fault. And even beings made with the stuff of heaven cover their feet in an admission. I don't deserve to be here. I'm not worthy to be here. Nothing I did got me here. And they cover the dirtiest part of themselves when they're in the presence of a holy God. And with one set of wings, they flew. And they cried out in a loud voice, and they'll be crying out when you and I get there. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Here I am, send me. Amazing grace, perfect love. Washing me. In a crimson flood Flowing down From my wounded king This changes everything Isaiah saw this worship happening And he was changed He realized in the presence of my God What a weak little man he was 
See, this day when he saw God for who he really was, and he saw himself for who he really was. He took his finger out of everybody else's chest. And for the first time maybe in his whole life, definitely the first time we have in Scripture, Isaiah sings a new song. And he says, woe is me. Woe is me, a man of unclean lips, he says. From a nation of people with unclean lips, and he falls to his face. God, God doesn't leave him there. But he sends one of these angels with a hot coal of forgiveness from his altar. And they come and they touch it to Isaiah's lips and they burn away all his sin for all time. Just as my sin was taken away on a cross by the blood of Jesus for all time. And he was given life. It changed everything. So Isaiah gives him more than a song. He says, God, here I am. Send me. Here I am, send me. 